you are there. Ha, ha, ha. Um, I believe that we are supposed to uh, have read and approved the draft of the minutes from October 6th and November 3rd. I hope we all have. Are those the right dates, Brian? Uh, those are not the right dates. Uh, Colton, those are planning board minutes. Uh, the correct dates are July 16th and August 20th. Have you all read these? I guess I read them wrong. I, I read them. If not, we can move right on from approving them until our next meeting. Good. Good. Oh, an awesome sound. Um, we have to have a motion to open the meeting. Do I have one? Yes. I make a motion to open the meeting. I second. I second. All those yes. in favor. Aye. 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 You have been excused. Uh, we need also to. Um, look first at uh, the recommendation for the two uh, cases before us from the planning board. I think I'm correct in saying that Mr. Stout and the Gelbs are the uh, two requests that we're going to work with today. Is that right, Brian? That's correct. Um, we'll, Mr. South and um, one or both of the Gelbs join us. Both are part of the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, There's Henry Stout on the right. Correct. So uh, Henry, you're first on the agenda. Welcome, Mr. Stout, to something that isn't usually like it is. Um, do you, uh, I have the the, the planning for the determination, and have, if we've all read that, I think it would be best if we start this by you explaining to us what it is that brings us brings you to uh, the ZBA. Okay. Um, uh, to keep it, I guess, simple, the site. Um, and the fact that it is divided half between the town and half between the village and the town and the village have opposite requirements for setback where the village wants you close to the road and the town wants you back from the road. Um, and just by nature of the site in particular, whereby uh, over the course of what has been now a two year process, uh, of uh, attempting to obtain permits um, and having gone through the complete process with the town and <clears throat> receiving their full site plan approval. Um, there is one location on this property that is possible to build, one location on the property where it's possible to put a septic system. And that is how we have laid out the site plan. In addition, um, it does work very well um, and it, 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 uh, it places the, the house in a location uh, just set back farther from the road than the village code would typically uh, require. So I'm in front of the board to request permission to place the house in that location and to receive a variance for uh, that, uh, that front lot line setback. I'm sorry, what's the address of the house? Can it's, um, uh, uh, geez, it's Montgomery Street. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm glitching on the address. I haven't thought about it in a while. It's raw land. Right. 139. 139. Well, I'm sorry, thank you. You're 139 Montgomery. Um, 
you've all driven past it a thousand times. Um, and uh, it's right there on the right, just before I think they call it the, the hog something bridge. Um, there's that uh, paved uh, half circle turnaround that's existing. Um, and the parcel is a, it's a beautiful, uh, it's actually a very beautiful parcel um, of field and then backs up. It's surrounded by wetland um, and there's just any number. It's surrounded by wetland. It's, it's divided by a municipal line. Um, it's, it's been an immensely complex process, um, but I do believe we've landed on something that would be beautiful and an asset to both the village and the town. Um, and would take a property that was kind of a throwaway property previously and turn it into something that would be a, a benefit to the community. This is a residential property? Yes, it is. Yeah. I would say, Ryan, unmute your uh, mic and have Colton speak through your, your mic. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. I don't know if anybody's speaking. Yeah, we're working on it. Understood. <clears throat> so, Ryan, I could hear Colton coming out of your phone. Um, is there any way that you can link your mic up to his phone or your phone so he, so we can hear him? Try again. All right. Is Keep that going. Can, I, I'm hearing you. Are you hearing me? Yes. We hear you now. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm wondering how, what the wisest thing to do for this situation is. Um, we have two quite lucid and. Uh, as Mr. Sound made it very reasonable, um, I think, appeals. I'd like us to be able to do this without the uh, confusion of, um, the tech of the technology right now. If um, Rachel or any one of the uh, board would uh, take the responsibilities for sharing um we're happy to do it um colton I'll, we're happy I'll to Rachel. <laughs> christopher do you have the document i don't actually have the documents in front of me if you do you you can take it away or you and i can share it together or or larry we can all do it i don't well, rachel I whatever don't, you need we should be able to have it on the screen i mean okay. whatever so yeah, what's what's in front of me all the, the the site plan is on my screen it's on the screen Rachel, what are you looking for? I was looking for the application. I was looking for the re variance request and the planning board, the planning board recommendation. Uh, so we can have Ryan. Ryan, why don't you read, um, read the recommendation from the planning board. First, first read the, um, well, I can tell you right now that uh, the the front setback code is either the minimum is 10, the maximum is 25. Um, Mr. Stout um, is requesting to have the house pushed back 148 feet. Um, primarily, this is dictated by the <clears throat> only location that the septic system can be put in. Um, the entire parcel is surrounded by wetlands. Um, it's also shared by the town. Um, so with respect to wetlands, it's primarily in the town side of the, uh, of the joint parcel project. Um, but on the village side, the only is the only real workable land. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and so the first objective was to get a septic. You don't have a septic, you don't have a house. So the only location that the septic could be put in, who I lost the screen. 
um, go back to the main site. Okay, I just, this is the positive re recommendation. I know, but let, we'll get to that. Let me get to my introduction first. So Rachel, um, so with respect to the septic system, um, you can see it, you can see the leach field, you can see it located in the front of the yard. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. So that was the only location that that could be installed. Um, with that being said, it really took away from the front yard. So then the only option was to push the house further back. And where the house is located now really is the only location it could be built in. Because if you pushed it more onto the town side, then you have the issue with being too close to the wetlands. So geographically, that, oh, that was really the only place to put it. With that being said, you're talking 148 feet from, from the front yard um, lot line. And that's kind of what dictated this uh, variance request. Okay. In of the, um, the total opinion of the uh, planning board, um, yeah, you want to go, we can go to that. You want to show that now, Ryan? Sure. Well, I can give a, a synopsis of it. Uh, the planning board uh, pointed out some, most of the things that you raised, uh, John. And it did seem to me reading that material that uh, the, the setback that uh, is in the code is really not for um, the, the location of this uh, excellent project. Uh, so, we, in a way, it seems to me that the planning board is, is suggesting that it is irrelevant uh, as long as there are reasons why this is the best thing for the use of the property. I don't think it disturbs any street, any, any passage on the street the way uh, it would if it was on Mulberry Street or Livingston Street. And I think that's the, uh, the position that the Correct. Yep. Okay. And planning board recommend made issued a, a positive recommendation, which was um, unanimous, with the exception of an abstent of one abstention. Is that correct? Or no abstentions? It was unanimous. No. Correct. I, I think it was universal. I had to. Yes, it was. Uh, it was a five to zero vote. Okay. Okay. So it's time. I don't know. Am I, if I'm Christopher, yes. Am I running this meeting or is, or is Colton? Well, I, I think it's time for the plan, the zoning board to discuss amongst themselves so, or, or, or ask questions of the applicant. So I would need a motion to close the public hearing. Um, I propose to close the public hearing. I'll second it. Yes, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, go ahead, Z ZBA. Christopher. Um, I looked at the site and uh, I think that uh, visually the proposed location works well um, and leaves the, the, the views which I was enjoy walking by, walking or driving by of the wetlands pretty uh, untouched, which I think is a plus. Um, though that's not really a ZBA matter to discuss. I just have one question really, which I, I'm sure Mr. Fenton can reassure us about, which is with this considerable setback, is there any problem with fire protection and access for the fire company oh um yes good question uh no I, there is not um <clears throat> we did have the fire chief take a look at it um they can get a fire truck tanker <clears throat> up to the house and when you get to the front facade the driveway kind of hammerheads into the um the lot and so there, there could be a three-point turn to basically get out. So um, 
plus the, 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 the good thing about it was that there is a live creek close to the property and if they need additional water, they can feed right from the creek. Is there a hydrant nearby? There is a hydrant. Um, I don't know if it, you can see it. Do you know, Henry, if it's shown on your site plan? That's a good question. I sorry, I do not know. I'm I can't immediately recall exactly where it is. Chris, I know that there's one <clears throat> south on Montgomery Street, probably about a hundred feet away um, on the on the uh, western side. Okay. The question of the fire accessibility would would be raised in the planning board. In the, in the building permit uh, regulations on the plan before the planning board too, right? True. So not, we don't we don't have to make that determination. Although Christopher's point is a good one. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they just don't seem to discuss it. So that I'd like to include a recommendation back to this planning board on that issue. Yeah. And are there any other questions of the applicant? time for there to be a motion from one of the members uh, one way or another so that we can okay I so make a motion to approve the application of Henry Stout for a 146 foot setback from Montgomery Street 148 148 foot I believe yes and six, I and, I and six and a half inches <laughs> <laughs> and, and <clears throat> so actually Henry Stout is asking for a relief of 123 feet. Right. So Larry, are you making that motion to grant the yeah. variance? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, motion to grant. I'll second the motion. And Rachel is seconding. Now we just need a roll call vote. So, so Rachel, I, yeah, read the names. I I can read the names for her, John. That's fine. So Colton Johnson is an I. Rachel Cavell is an I. Christopher Tavernier. I. Larry Garrick. I. Kevin Curry. I. And the variance is granted. Five to zero. Um, now, uh, Rachel, do you want to go through the five um, criteria? Criteria. I will. I will delegate the findings of the criteria to somebody who has the book in front of them. I, I will confess that I was teaching a class until right before the meeting and didn't have a chance to bring the book in front of me. Does somebody have the? Variance criteria in front of them and would like to make findings of fact. I don't have it. Okay. Um, I, can I, do I, can, it. I can do it from memory if if some if nobody has it in front of them. I, I can do it. <clears throat> oh great. So Kevin, the chair, the acting chair recognizes Kevin Curry. I think we're talking about the criteria that's in the uh, code. We are. Okay. We are. So you want me just to read it or kind yeah. of summarize each point? Summarize why, why the relief requested comes within the confines of the criteria set forth in the ZBA regulations for variance, for variant, area okay. variance. Okay, I will do that. Okay, because there's no detriment to nearby properties or to the health, safety, and welfare of the neighborhood or community, because there's no other location for the house due to the required 100 foot setback from the wetland and the only feasible location of the septic field, uh, because the existing conditions were not self-created, because there's no other location for the house for the reasons already stated, the variance cannot be reduced. And I think that basically covers I think that's, the conditions. That's exactly You've done that's it good. in a nutshell. Yeah, that was, was good. Perfect, perfect, Kevin. Thank you. 
Okay, so do we vote now or did we vote already? We, we voted. already voted. So Henry, um, we will see you December 1st at the planning board meeting. For Thank you all very much. I appreciate your consideration. Go forth and vote. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your consideration. Okay, Amy. Okay, next on the agenda, uh, Joanne and David Gelb, 36 Mulberry Street. Uh, Ryan, do you have um, a drawing for them? I do. Just let me make my note here and I will share my screen. Now I got to figure out what I, it's counter clock. There we go. Okay. So, so David maybe, and Joanne, uh, go ahead. Well, wait, Ryan, why don't you just explain the, the variances and, and maybe um, with your cursor show what's what. Sure. Okay. So uh, this is 36 <laughs> Mulberry street here out here is Mulberry street uh, where the, uh, cursor is out here. Uh, this is the Gelb's uh, rear yard. And what they are requesting is to extend their bathroom here. And the impact uh, will be seven feet within the required 10 foot rear yard setback. And the relief sought is three feet. And then they are also proposing uh, the installation of a hot tub in this location of the rear yard um, adjacent to the bathroom extension. And this will also impact the 10 foot required uh, setback uh, by seven feet and the relief sought is three feet. Perfect. Um, at this point, uh, a ZBA member can move to open the public hearing. Move to open the public hearing. Second. Okay. Now I just want to make sure that there isn't anyone from the public. From what I can see, uh, there is no member of the public. Uh, is there a motion? Except us. Well, you're the applicant, Joanne and Dave. David, <laughs> this this would be a neighbor. A neighbor of yours, if they would oh, want to it. comment. Um, is there any member of the ZBA who would like to close, make a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Excuse me one second. At the, at the, under the row of pictures, under Colton's picture, it says Lydia Sal Slaby. She's yes, uh, that is our new liaison of the trust, uh, from the trustee board. Okay, uh, Larry. So that's, not, uh, that's not the general public commenting. That's correct, Colton. Yes, yeah, she she's listening in as as board liaison, so she is okay, not a good. I just a was neighbor. She was the public making a comment. So good. Oh, good. I make a motion to close the public hearing. We already got that, Larry. That's all set. I'm behind. <laughs> It's all right. It's, it's all so right. good, Larry. <laughs> At least you can be heard. I vote aye, anyhow. <laughs> yes, I, I, I got yours, Chris, Christopher. Okay. Now, um, do, would the ZBA want to review the uh, minutes from the planning board and the yes. positive recommendation? Okay. Yes, thank you. So hopefully everyone can see. Maybe slide that over. Uh, or up up a little bit too, or we're missing the top of it. Okay, th thank you. No, oh, I see, there we are, okay. You wanna read it or? Sure, the good? planning board 
uh, did not find any significant uh, issues uh, with the request. Uh, actually, both requests because there's two area invariances involved here. Um, Can we just read the motion? The motion, uh, uh, I believe this was made by John Clark uh, to make a positive recommendation based on the narrowness of the rear yard to the house, the fact that it does not exceed the existing garage, which is already close to the back property line. The fence that gives screening from the neighbors and the house of the neighbors is not close to the property line. Um, this would have been, uh, Mr. Clark believes all these reasons are justified uh, for a positive recommendation. It was seconded by planning board member Gee, and it was all voted. It was a unanimous. Uh, all those voted aye in favor. Now, uh, Ryan, go back to the drawing, please. And just so the, um, the ZBA gets a good feel of what's going on here. I performed a site visit and um, so if you look at the drawing, none of this is visible from the street. Um, the actual line that runs along the perimeter of the property is a six foot fence. So there's a privacy fence and then you got the hot tub, which is probably the closest to any type of visibility, but you really, the, the way the property is laid out, you you honestly can't even see from the street. So not only can you not see from the street, you can't see it from the neighboring properties either. So it, it's completely screened. Larry and I observed that site a couple of weeks, a couple, three weeks ago. And that's a very accurate description uh, of uh, what uh, seems like not a, a further uh, violation of anything because the way the original places are laid out and have grown and seem to be comfortable. Correct. Yep. Thank you. That's it. Okay. Can we make it, is it time to make a motion or do, or do we, is that jumping the gun? Do or not do. I, I actually we have a question. Is, is it time to okay to ask a question? Yes. I just don't know if it's open to the to the ZBA right now. So the the um, one thing that I would like to know is, you know, can the benefit sought sought by the applicant can it be achieved uh, by some other method? other than a variance? Oh. Mm, not really. That would be a question for the applicant to answer, I, right? Should we? Maybe we need to confer <laughs> on this because I don't, I don't see how, what, um, Kevin, we are looking to put all the living on one floor because we want to age here. Mm -hmm. And we're expanding this bathroom in order to bring up the laundry and mm -hmm. also storage because there is no storage really in the house. So um, we kind of feel that we would appreciate and, and feel comfortable with this amount. I also believe and I want to speak on behalf of uh, Joanne and David, but you know, I, just remind me, was the hot tub located where it was because of the location of the bathroom door? Like it was basically you open a door and you enter the hot tub and it was the closest or the least path of resistance. Is, was that why that was located where it is? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, I think, you know, for the for privacy yes. from the, yes, from the second floor, yeah. Yeah, um, that's the only thing that I could recall, why, why the hot tub was where it was. I believe the planning board mentioned also that um, the garage as it was built uh, is closer to uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the boundary line uh, than what is being proposed. So the backyard is not 
moving in the wrong direction uh, if there's already something there that exceeded the what later became apparently the uh, limitation. Did everyone hear Colton? Yes, thank you. Um, could Chris has could a you, has a sorry. I don't think oh, Kevin's finished. Sorry. Have Kevin uh, Chris had his Chris had his hand up. Well, Kevin, if you felt finished, please continue. Okay. Well, I I was wondering why the bathroom, rather than being twelve foot, uh, why could it not be nine foot? And then there wouldn't be a variance needed. I think there's probably a very good reason. Off oh, down to nine. Get, get, help us. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've worked uh, with with bathroom people. We want to make it as uh, almost handicap accessible with a walk-in shower, and we need that extra space in order to do that. So the handicap accessible. Yes. Uh, I know there has to be a turn radius that's I'm rather right. large and with fixtures there, uh, that would be pretty understandable. Yeah, so that, that's how we were looking to design it. You know, and, and it makes sense, you know, Kevin, because a nine foot, so say you wanted to settle on nine. Uh, when you look at the handicap uh, aspect of projects and the dimensional requirements, it always comes down to 36 inches. Um, that's always seems to be the case. And if you, you know, so if you add another three feet, which makes sense, now you're talking 12. You know what I mean? Yep. So that's it, it. And I see that almost in every drawing, it's always a difference of 36 inches. <laughs> so. Okay. Answers that. Along, along the same lines that Kevin has uh, raised. If you just look at the plan, it might seem at first that it's almost feasible to move the bathroom up and to the right, taking advantage of what seems to be a three foot setback. So again, you would um, remove any intrusion into the rear yard setback. Um, and then you could put the hot tub on the other side and uh, the bathroom would provide even more privacy. However, uh, if it is only three feet, that's really not enough to put a doorway in that little setback. And I pres presume, if I remember correctly, there's a window in the 12-foot wall um, of that yeah. same niche. So putting a bathroom in that location while avoiding uh, problems with setbacks would really not be feasible. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Thank you. Is it time to make a motion on this? I make a motion to approve the application of David and Joanne Gell for three feet of relief for their bathroom and their hot tub along their westerly property line. Second. Second. Yeah, Chris, uh, Christopher beat you, Colton. <laughs> All right. That's right. <laughs> shall we shall we do a roll call take a roll call yeah okay um christopher how do you vote hi larry how do you vote hi. um and i'm sorry i don't see can you scroll down so i can see everybody else who's there Kevin. I can scroll. I can scroll. Colton and Ke Kelton, how do you? Aye. A and Kevin? Aye. And I will also say aye. So the vote. Wonderful. Here. Yeah. Thank you. I believe you still should read the findings, no? Yes. So like I, I, think, I think that Kevin did such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank oh, you. I Ah, Bring his skills and do it again. I see. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, there is a fence that provides screening. Uh, 
uh, to, of the neighbor's home and the neighbor's home is not close to the rear property line. Correct. Um, there's no detriment to the neighborhood or the community. Uh, the requested variance is not substantial. Uh, and there is no other feasible solution given the requirements of the uh, ADA, the handicap requirement. Mm -hmm. Yep. That sounds like in a nutshell. We propose that Kevin's findings be incorporated into our decision. Yes, they will be included in the uh, granting of the variance. So moved. I, I move that this hearing be closed. Thank you very much. Thanks. I second it. Second. Okay. okay. In favor, yes. <laughs> All voted aye in favor. Aye. aye. All right, everyone. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, Ryan. Good to make Until a motion next to time. close. Oh, sure. We'll make a motion to, to close the hearing. Motion. Somebody second it. Okay. I think Larry motioned and Christopher seconded. <laughs> and All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, everyone. Yeah, Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, it'll, go e it'll go easier next time.